Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. As promised, these are short episodes where we're going to be discussing a fast look, and you can always find the free lot that replicates this look in the description below. Let's take a look here. Now, I'm just going to come to this image, and I'm sure you're familiar with the bleach bypass look. Now we have this image here. What we're going to be doing now is to add the same image on top of itself as a layer. So we're going to be having two layers on top of each other. Both are for the same image. So let's take a look. I'm simply going to come to this node here, go to nodes, and I'm going to add a layer node. A layer node simply adds another layer on top of this image. So this is exactly like you working with layers in After Effects, for example. The only difference is here, this is the top layer. This is the layer on top, and this is the layer on bottom, and this is the layer mixer that just mixes them both. So I'm just going to come to the new layer the one on top which is number three here in this case and I'm simply going to reduce the saturation so we end up with a black and white image then I'm going to come to the layer mixer itself right click on it go to composite mode and choose overlay so take a look at the image now here it's a bit contrasty without losing the uh, highlights roll off I'm going to hit shift in D now to see the original image and the new one much more contrasty and looks really nice then I'm going to add a new node I'm going to come to layer mixer here go to nodes and I'm going to add a serial node place it at the end here and for this node I'm simply going to come to color presets and I'm going to choose chroma dark this chroma dark preset works in a similar way just more aggressive to the luma versus saturation curve it's just a bit more aggressive so this is our node here and you can see that we're keying everything in black here so this is our key and you can see that the saturation is zero so we're absolutely desaturating shadows there is one final step here I need to add a new node between the layer mixer and the last node here I'm simply going to click on the last node and then hit shift an S and now I just added a node before this node and in this node we're going to be doing a very interesting thing we're going to go to the color wheels but we're going to go to the offset so you need to leave everything else left gamma and gain just go to offset and simply pull it towards orange and then reduce the saturation a bit and this is your look it looks very filmic usually film prints affects the color in a certain way they make the color sometimes a bit brownish this emulates that look let's take a look at the original image and the new one let's repeat this very fast with another image so I'm just gonna come to this image here and I'm just gonna balance it before I actually uh, do anything so increase the gamma bring the lift down a bit increase gamma great then I'm going to add now a new node and in the new node I'm going to come add a new layer node again choose the one uh, on the top it's it's on the bottom here but in reality this is the uh, layer on top and I'm gonna reduce the saturation come to the layer mixer right click composite mode go to overlay beautiful now notice here that when we added the effect we lost some information in the highlights this is why we have the first correction here so we can simply just come back bring gain a bit uh, increase gamma yeah so i can simply uh, correct my image after the fact so it looks more natural beautiful okay then again i'm gonna come here add a new node and in the color tab i'm gonna go to presets chroma dark beautiful so now we have everything in shadows desaturated. Then I'm going to add a new node between the layer mixer and node number five here by hitting shift and S, or if, if you don't want to remember the keyboard shortcut, you can simply just go to nodes and add a serial before current. So this is our new node between them. Again, going to primary wheels, going to offset, no lift, no gamma, no gain, just offset and put it to orange and reduce the saturation a bit. And this looks way more beautiful take a look at the original image and the new one this just looks way better and also take a look at this one take a look at the original image and the new image it looks much more filmic and of course you can find the free lot in the description below where you can uh, grab the lot and apply it uh, you know if you don't want to keep repeating this process every time or maybe there are some softwares you're working with that just aren't, aren't as advanced to to apply this look you can simply grab the lot and work with it so please visit us at learncolorgrading.com and at filmsimplified.com see you next episode and remember i managed to keep shrimp shrimp is the cat by the way her name is shrimp uh, out of the scene today